Oh, what's wrong, little Pendle? What, what, what? Oh, aww. Are you tired? Ah, uh, you're gonna take a nap. Okay. Well, hello guys, welcome back to more Magic Pendle, the quest for color, here on GameAnyone.com. I'm your host, Zachary Chalcom, and let's keep going. Sorry to wake you up, little Pendle. Main Arena! Uh, darn it! I can't believe they took all those gems! By the way, you draw pretty good for someone so new to doodling. Uh, it, it's a hey, talent. You. It's a talent. Leave my Zoe alone! Before you become or jealous what? of my relationship with Zoe, we should do battle and see who the better man is! Come on, Dinka. Stop it! I'll be waiting for you at the next tournament! See Fine! You. You're on, sir! And again, before anybody comments being like, Why do you have the sound off, Ducky? <laughs> It's not off. This is a very blatantly Japanese game, and, and getting the, uh, the modeling voice flaps to go to the same as the American voice, they didn't do that as much. That's quite alright. I'm fine with that. So you basically have the, uh, I am your father. Or whatever. That, that was probably bad, but yeah. You have the, uh, inconsistency, but yeah. Hello! Fresh. We'll talk to people later. Also, people, this is a merchant. This is Bitsy. Well. She's a merchant. You can buy. From everybody, you can buy doodles. Well. You should also be able to buy brushes well. from merchants later. But we can't currently. But from everybody, you can buy different doodles. I wouldn't recommend it. Your doodles will always be better than their doodles. Only thing it might do for you is get more color. It might get more color, but I am not entirely sure. Ow! Like, I... You, once you get used to this game, going through the game, you kind of get used to what the sound of the towns are going to look like as you go through them. That didn't, what the sounds are going to look like. What the sounds are going to sound like as you pass through the towns. So that guy that, that's hammering the plank up there, almost every time you pass him, about two hammer swings afterwards, he says, ow. Because he hits his thumb or something like that. Hey, Zoe. Hey. Yeah, I don't have a doodle book. Oh, cool. Yeah! And once again, I'm just gonna draw a simple doodle, because we have stuff for simple doodles. We just got 400 C blue, which is really not that much. But we're gonna draw a magic type doodle today. To do that, we need to make stuff out of blue. Yes, you're. The colors that you choose determine what type of doodle it is. So, making it blue mostly will make it a magic type. Let's give it some arms. Let's make the arms green. Now, as a general rule to determine what type each color is, you basically just have to go off of uh, basically cool and warm and neutral colors. If you don't know what those are, um, I'm sure you can find it on Google or your local art class. But I will kind of explain it. Neutral colors are ones that are kind of black and brown. Not well, brown isn't counted as a neutral color here, but black and black and gray and white and I think that's mostly what this game counts as neutral colors. And yes, I know that looks a little weird. Um, we're gonna give some red because that will give it a bit more health. And we're gonna give him a tail. And I know this one hasn't been submitted either, and I probably... There hasn't been that many submitted yet. I did not hit the R2 button, thank you. There hasn't been that many submitted yet, so I'm... And we don't really have that many parts or th that much drawing capacity to make anything really cool, so I'm just... For a little bit, I'm just going to, uh... 
Draw whatever. Alright, so we have... Our doodle. What are we gonna name him? Well, we're probably gonna name him what I always name one of my first things on whatever file, because I like the name. His name will be Nax, the Magic Doodle. And yes, he's magic. But we're also going to go edit Chip here, because we have a whole bunch more editing capacity. And why don't we give Chip some more yellow? And why don't we give him some arms? Why do we want to give Doodles arms? Because that gives him more things to attack with, and also stronger things to attack with. Arms let you do stuff like, uh... Punch, which is stronger than a body tackle. Unless your your body is really, really large. The game does take an effect, uh... Does take an effect, uh, like... Certain constraints to it. And also, depending on how... You draw the doodle will make it stronger, or better, or whatsoever. That didn't really make any sense. I don't care. And why don't we give him some horns? On his, on his V part here. One horn. Nah, I don't really like that. Let's give him a nose. Make him a big moai. Big moai nose. So, we're gonna go up here. I probably won't be able to finish this. No, I can't. So, a small moai nose. There we go. Although it doesn't really fit. It's not very square, but... Maybe it's that he now has a face. He has a face now. And editing them will give them more stats. But in actuality, basically redrawing your doodle is a bit better. Um, it tends to yield better stats. Um, but you don't really want to completely delete a doodle. You don't want to go over here and be like, I want to delete this, because it loses experience. The experience then also applies to stats. So, you need to keep that in mind. And yay, we made some doodles. Let's go talk to Taro. <laughs> yeah, that Dinka. He's big and mean and grrr. Of course I'll defeat Dinka. Alright, and if you ever wanted to save, you can save right here. And don't mind that, that is nothing at all. No, that that previous thing was nothing, nothing, nothing. Alright, onwards. Hello, Chip. We're gonna run right past you. We're gonna go fight that Dinka! Now, just in case you're wanting to join the, the doodle contest, or just submit a doodle, if you don't want to join the contest but still want to submit a doodle, um, I'll still count it towards the doodle, or the, towards the contest, because the more people that join, the better the prizes will be. But if you just like to submit one, I'd still add it to it, but... That's not the point. You'll probably still want to enter the contest. There'll be three categories if you didn't watch the video. There'll be my choice, player's choice, and judge's choice. And I already have my three judges, so... Just stay tuned and you'll find out who they are. Uh... What am I saying? What am I saying? What am I saying? Lose my train of thought... Um... Yes, yeah, so if you see a little train that, that's like roaming around this video, like click on it and drag it to me because I kind of lost it, so I don't remember what I was going to say. It was something along the lines of, oh, the parts. I guess the, thanks whoever dragged that train onto me, I remembered what it was. Um, the parts that we have available uh, for... Doodles, just in case you want to know before you start doodling up, you doodle tears. We have arms and legs and hard parts for spikes. We have wiggle parts, which work for tails. I know they have some weird names for them. Um, design parts to draw on them for any extra details. Uh, 
There's wings, weapons, uh, eyes, a head part. I think that's about it, but... But, basically whatever you draw, I can find a way to make it work. I know somebody already asked if there's going to be wing parts. There will be wing parts. There won't be like Graffiti Kingdom where there's two types of wing parts, where there's insect wings and uh, normal wings. They're just normal wings, but I can still work with them. And hey, who are you calling a sissy new kid? Anyway, with this, um, we're going to probably try to lead off with Chip, because he has a bit more health and can hopefully weaken down to two people. And the doodler was ice there, so I'm wondering if the do if the magic pendulum staff uh, did stuff. Last time, the person did did attack when I thought they were gonna do block, and that's probably actually I don't know why. But normal strategy, what I said before, is that they they tend to attack what they normally have. If that makes sense. So they're probably going to attack. So I'm probably going to want to use magic. Sometimes they also play towards the same way towards uh, yourself. So he thinks I'm going to attack first, so he's going to do magic. So we both did magic. And he put MP poison on me! Now see that he has attack block and charge. I also have attack block and charge, but the best thing I could do at this point is either charge just to take the attack and hopefully recover up and then annihilate him next turn or to attack and for right now I'm going to attack because he might do something stupid and uh... BAM! 42 and he has a wiggle part which is what his scarf is there which is why he can do tail swipe the game doesn't always know what they're supposed to be but that's basically what happened now it has uh, magic and block and charge, best thing I would do would be block, because it's either I, tie, I beat his magic, tie with his block, or beat his charge. She's gonna do the same thing. Ow! But... Pew! And you are taken care of, scruff! Come back here! If anybody has questions on how the battles work, like if you're still confused on certain things, I certainly can answer them. I really like this game, and so I know a lot about this game. Now, probably seeing what I have, he'll probably do magic, which means it's not going to be that strong, which I'm going to probably do charge, but he's actually going to do attack, so I probably should have done magic. And hopefully fume doesn't one-shot me. It does, but if it didn't, I would have the advantage slightly. But anyway, I have the... another doodle after this. And Punchia shall go down to Nax, hopefully. And see, he has magic and block, and... The best thing I can do is block right now. And so, as you can see, I have different things than he does. I have an MP barrier while he has normal barrier. Which kind of goes along with what types you are. You'll have a barrier reflect, or just reflect if you're block type. Now, see, we have. We're on my terms, which is doing. Uh, magic. Which I'm gonna do a charge seal, hopefully, sealing his charge so he can't use it. And I happen blue, cool colors, like blue, green, purple, so on. Actually, purple's a, uh, 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 actually, that's sealed. That worked that time. Um, blue colors tend to have, blue, green, those kind of colors tend to have higher speed than attack colors. Attack colors tend to have more, uh, tend to have higher HP. And the best thing he could do right now is attack, which I'm going to attack as well. He's going to fireball me, which hopefully does not do 42. I really hope it does not do 42. No, it does 26. 
And a double punch. Can we do 25 next? Go! 27, yeah! That's right, Dinka. That's right. Whatever. I let you win, kid. Sure, Dinka. Sure. Let me get 600 peach. And also, our pinjil levels up. Now, after you get a brush, you add a color to the brush, which this happened to be black this time, which doesn't look all that cool, but it tends to do that every single time because of what colors you have. I think the colors that you are currently using on your pendule, like what you have currently as the last color you used, has some effect over it, but I don't exactly know how exactly it affects it. But now we've gotten the leg part to add to our doodles. Which could be anywhere from, I think, two to six legs. Actually, one to six legs. I don't think we can add eight legs, but I may be mistaken. We also received a doodle book. I don't know how they're supposed to be expecting us to use doodle or doodling without a doodle book, but whatever. Let me get another message from Sir Kiba. Doodles are wondrous creatures. You can learn a lot from them. Well, we learned that last time, too. Why don't we head back to town and the ranch? But now that we have legs, we can do a bit more complicated doodles, and we also have a bit more of a capacity to do these, so why don't you add those submissions in, and I'll start doodling them. Why don't we head back to the ranch first? Juice? I like juice. And um, not today. So we got a mystery shop, a carpenter, seafood, uh, uh, a place to eat, fruit stand, flower shop, looks like antiques or glasses, more antiques. Ah, uh, do you have brushes now? So, purchase. Yes, now we have brushes. Brushes are rather expensive. But I will be getting those all at some point in time. You should stop hitting your thumb, sir. You can kind of tell when there's going to be a cutscene here, when the screen goes dark like that. Hmm, what does that say? For a Actually, I don't think that's that. Article 9. Criminals can, at any time, be deprived of both their rights and property. I don't think so. What does criminal mean? Nothing of your concern. You, give me a hand. <laughs> Help me carry this. What's she gonna use that for? Don't look at it. Just hold it down. Where'd you get a saw? Or a hammer? Hmm. A perfect fit. Zoe, what did I didn't even see if there was a crack me? there before. Hmm. Let's see. It said, please use this sign to fix your home. Really? I would you like if it really said that. Signs? That'd be a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Now. Okay. Face. Is something wrong? Two meals a day, a place to sleep, 
And you can practice That's a very small house, though. Tara. I wonder how you guys sleep in there. That's a pretty good deal. Huh. Together. Yeah, I would say it's a pretty good deal. collect gems and buy back the land. Yeah! You help us, right? Of course. I get my own Kamek now, right? Right? I call right over on this section of the house, okay? You guys get that section, I'll get this one, okay? But anyway, next time on Magic Pendule, the quest for color, we'll be continuing on more doodles and more tournament arenas. Fights. Tournament arena fights. And... Well, actually, do we want a tournament arena fight? Mm, no, I don't think we do. I think we want to collect some color gems, so maybe buy some of those brushes. So to do that, we're going to fight in the arena, which is down those steps there. So, next time we'll be doing that. If you'd like to submit your doodles, do so in the thread that's in the description of this video. Or, actually, it'd be in the, in the description of the Game Anyone video as well. Or go to the video game section of the Game Anyone forum section, and you'll see it. Anyway, I'll see you later, Doodle Tears. I'm Dr. H. Elkham, and I'm signing off. Bye! <laughs>